This is a video on the verb construct. Question is, construct a diagram of a constructive plate boundary, a destructive plate boundary, and a transform plate boundary. Three marks. The verb construct, I'm sure you know what this means. It basically means make or build. Okay, in this case, it's to make a diagram, to draw a diagram. Now, with diagrams in science in an exam, make sure you use pencil and a ruler where necessary, okay? Unless otherwise specified, but typically a pencil. Uh, in this case, um, if I was marking, if I made a question like this, I would expect students to use a ruler. And I would take half a mark off if student didn't use a ruler, students uh, didn't use a ruler or uh, a pencil. Okay, so let's do part A. Now I'm not gonna be using a ruler because it's difficult on this device. Um, but anyway, so constructive plate boundary. Constructive plate boundary means new crust is formed by definition. It's what construct, and it's basically the result of diverging plates, right? Because when you have two plates, so drawing two plates, two rectangles preferably, that are moving apart as such, you've got magma rising on the surface. Okay, that's a that's a constructive plate boundary. Um, because plates are diverging, so you can write diverging plates and label them. And here you can put rising magma. And when the magma cools on top of these plates, you get new crust. Okay, hence new crust is constructed. It's called a constructive plate boundary. Okay, the boundary between these two plates that are diverging, moving away from each other. Let's do a destructive plate boundary now. This is the exact opposite. Destructive means cross is going to be destroyed. So this will be the opposite. So the opposite of diverging means is converging. So two plates moving together results in converging plates. They come together and you can draw snapshots in time. Plates will look like that. Okay, with rubble. Rubble here on, um, on each side. Okay, that rubble, rubble is the result of two plates colliding, okay? In a collision, there's, there's debris. And you can put here debris from collision. Okay, so converging plates here. And that's how mountains are formed, structures like mountains when two plates collide. Okay, mountains like the Himalayas and the Alps. And uh, in A, that's how volcanoes are formed, okay? Through constructive plate boundaries. And C, like your last, transform plate boundary. So a transform boundary occurs when, I should say, apologies, a conservative plate boundary. A conservative plate boundary is due to transform, a trans, uh, transform, um, uh, transform plate movement, okay? When two plates slide past each other in opposite directions. Okay. So that's how earthquakes form. When they slide, you get uh, collision, you get friction built up and heat built up and that gets released in the form of seismic waves, okay? Earthquakes, that's how energy is released. Suppose this plate's moving down, other plate's moving up. It's the result of transform movement, transform plate movement. It's called a conservative plate boundary because the word conserve means um, to save, okay? Nothing's being lost in this case. So no crust, you can write, is destroyed or created. Okay, think back to the law of conservation of energy, one of the basic laws of the universe. Energy cannot be created or destroyed, right? In this case, they're sliding past each other, okay? No, um, no plates are destroyed. And you get a conservative plate boundary, okay? Because the plates are conserved, in other words. Okay, so that's three marks, one mark for each, um, for A, B, and C each, and that's a total of three marks. I'll leave you now with a question. Construct diagrams showing how a volcano is formed. Three marks. So I would draw three snapshots, three diagrams, um, showing progressively how a volcano forms, okay? So that's the verb construct.